Hello everyone, Jonathan here from Triple M Games, and I'm going to be showing you how to use my Sci-Fi Alpha Maps Volume 1 Texture Pack in Substance Painter. You could use 3D Coat, Blender, or ZBrush. Uh, this is just my preference for now. We're going into File, New, Select, and add the Cube Low Poly FBX that is included. And I'm going to leave everything as Unity 5 template. You could use PBR or whatever material setup you want. I'm going to click OK. This will import our cube. It's just a, a basic cube I made in Blender. Nothing too fancy. We're going to go down to Texture Set Settings and bake out the mesh maps. Go and add our high poly cube. Scroll down, we are going to set up the matching to by mesh name, uh, two times subsampling, ambient occlusion, only same mesh name, and only mesh name. Uh, that means that it will only export with uh, meshes of the same name. We'll bake that out. Now you'll notice that the cube has a slight bevel to the edges. We are going to add a smart material. I like using steel gun painted. That'll just give us a nice little bevel. You'll notice that there's edge wear to it. And that'll be a good starting spot. I'm going to de delete the default layer. I'm going to add a fill layer. We're just going to name this one Alphas. Then I'm going to right click on that, give it a black mask. And we're going to left click on the layer, go over to Property Fill. And I don't want to use color, but I want to lower the height. Then we're going to go over to the Magic Wand and add a paint layer. Now, if you'll notice, whenever I paint, cuts into it. So let's add our alpha textures and go from there. So you notice we have ins and outs. And if we go into ins and then we're going to go to wall panels, you can left click and control A to select all. Uh, you're going to want to select the shelf. And then left click and drag your alpha maps into the shelf. Left click, control and A to select all. Click on Undefined and set it to Alpha. And you can go with Current Session, Project, or Shelf. I recommend Project or Shelf. Uh, shelf will keep it forever, and Project uh, will allow you to change the textures and uh, reload them. I'm going to set that for now. And then we're going to click on one of these. And I'm going to hold Control and then right mouse button and just move my mouse left and right. That will change the size. Now I'm noticing with this model, if you move the mouse around, that for some reason there's a... it's it's changing based on the perspective of something. <laughs> I'm gonna click Control Z and we can fix that by going into our Properties Paint, scroll down until we see Alignment, Change it from tangent wrap to camera, and now it should be uh, flat. So, just line those a little nicer. Now, if you notice, if you hold shift and right mouse button and move it left and right, uh, you can change the lighting. But you'll notice that the texture doesn't have edge wear. So let's fix that. There is a quick little workaround. You're going to go up to File and Export Textures. Go over to Configuration. Click the plus icon and select that. Or double click uh, the name and then enter in whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Normal 2. And then click on RGB. And then we're going to drag in the converted maps. Normal, DirectX, or OpenGL, depending on your system. I'm going with OpenGL. 
then just drag that in, RGB channels, and then I'm just going to grab this real quick. And texture set normal. So basically it will take your material name and then it will add underscore normal to the end of it. Go back to export, change it from config from Unity 5 to normal 2, or whatever you called it. Then I will change the directory. I have my folder on my desktop. It's recommended to have it somewhere nearby. And then uh, <laughs> in a good folder near your other textures. Then export. Click OK. And now I'm going to hide the alpha layer. And we're going to click on shelf. Okay, so we're going to left click on the cube normal and drag it into our shelf. We're going to change the undefined to texture, set it to project, and import. And now under texture set settings, mesh maps, and normal, we're going to left click and drag that onto normal. As you see, we have it back, but uh, there's still no edgeware. So we're going to bake the mesh maps. We're going to check use low poly mesh as high poly mesh because we don't need to bake out the high poly anymore. Uncheck normal, ID, and thickness. And then press bake mesh maps. Shouldn't take too long. And now you'll notice that we have edgeware. So that is a quick tutorial on how to use my Sci-Fi Alpha Maps Texture Pack Volume 1. <laughs> Feel free to uh, use these textures in whatever projects you are working on. And thank you for watching.